Welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to put a date picker that pops out of the cell in Google Sheets so that you can pick any date that you want. This is going to be a really useful trick if you're making an attendance document or a tracking document or any sort of document where you need to be able to put dates in different cells easily. So let's get after it. Okay, so in order to demonstrate this trick, um, we've come back to the attendance template that we made in Google Sheets before. Um, and if you haven't followed those videos, I'll link them up in the cards so that you can kind of go back and, and see how we created this whole template. But what we want to do is we actually want to be able to put our dates in here um, along the top here. And I'm just going to color these cells um, a different color just so they show up a little bit better. And we want to be able to click on that cell and then have a little calendar pop up where we can actually put in our dates. And there's a couple ways that we can do this. Number one is this is something that I just stumbled upon by accident the other day. But if I put in a date into this cell and I have it formatted to show um, just the number and then the month or the day number and then the month, once a date is already in there, if I double click on this cell, what actually happens is it pulls open a little calendar where I can just change the date as I want. And that's going to be pretty useful if I just want to easily change the date to something else. So that's, that's the first way to do it. And just as a reminder of how to format the date in Google Sheets, if I click on this cell here and then I actually go up to format number and go to more formats, more date, time, number formats, what it actually allows me to do is pick how I want the date actually formatted. So that's just a quick tip on how to do that. And because this um, cell is so small, I just have it formatted to show the day and then a three letter acronym for the month. Now, I've typed a date in there and that's what allows me to actually select the date. But on an empty cell, I can double click all I want and it's not really gonna show me an option to pick the date. So what I have to do is actually format these cells that they're only going to accept dates. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select all of these cells and I'm going to go to data and then data validation. One more time, we've used data validation in pretty much every video that I've shot so far. And in this, in this uh, window, it's going to give me the option to actually select a date. And when I select this, there's a lot of options here. I can select that it's just a valid date and what that's going to do is just format the cell basically as a date or I can select that it's equal to a certain day or before a certain day or really there's a lot of different um, options here. So for example, if I put after, what it's going to do is give me a date that I want to make sure that the date is after. I'm just going to put equal valid date for now and when I hit save, when I go back to these cells, just like in the first one I showed you, when I double click these cells, a little calendar is going to pop up and it's going to allow me to pick my dates. And this calendar is pretty functional. I can change the month and I can change and pick any date really that I want. So that's just a quick trick or a quick trick to show you how to add a date box um, to your templates in Google Sheets. So if this video helped you out, um, please like and comment on the video. That really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one.